Yo guys, it's me Matrix here, I am coach of the Welsh Waylords and we are bringing you round one of the grand finals of the UGA Champions Tour. Don't know if it was meant to say grand finals, but it's the Champions Tour, it's all, where all the division winners go up against each other in a three round, eight person bracket type thing, uh, single, single elimination, uh, best of three matches. We are up against the Alola champion, uh, Jay Placey. And not only is he the Alola champion, he is the two-time Alola champion. So we've got our work cut out for us this week. We will give it a go. I'm more than happy to be playing in the... Playing in this Champions Tour. Um, I'm just happy we managed to get the win to be honest, so in, over in UGA, it, over in the Johto division. So, anything from here is whatever. Like, I honestly do not care. So, we will try and give J uh, Placey the best game we can. I believe this is the team I'm running. And we'll see what we can do. Oh yeah, Jay Placey is the Washington Pokemon team. Okay, so we see Magma, Purloin, Thunderous, PZ, Clefairy, and Beartic. So we don't see Escabalier, so immediately we just go, Moltres, you're not coming. Um, I think Magma is Flame Body slash uh, Vital Spirit, probably going to be Flame Body. We've got two Pranks and Mons, so we know that's going to be an issue. Mien Shao will have to be pretty clutch, I think, because uh, it's got quick guard. And it's whether I bring the Mien Shao up front for the quick guard tech, just in case, because a Purloin obviously can be really annoying, but like Thunder Waves and Thunderous can be prankster, it can be really annoying. However, if he brings up, if he's Defiant Thunderous, maybe that's annoying. We'll bring the Metagross Spectral lead anyway. I'm going to bring Mien Shao in the back. And I have an Artivish on Ninetales. I think Artivish could be good. Because if it'll outspeed most of what he has. Other than the Thunderous. So we'll, we'll, we'll run with it. We'll run with it. Unless he's running max speed Thunderous. Ah oh dear. Good luck, J Placing. I love the colour scheme it's got going on. So we do see Thunderous Purloin up front. Now, I can imagine he's got like a trick or something for the Purloin. Um, to try and stop, but I don't know. I think we just go for a... Well, he's got fake up, he can't do anything there. So let's go for a tail whip here and just go straight up. Max Hailstorm, the Thunderous, I suppose. That's going to be my best bet. <sighs> yeah, I thought he might max the Thunderous. Try to think what he could do here. Like, if it's special, I'm fine. If it's physical, I'm fine. On Metagross. I don't take too much. You could help in hand. Hmm. If it's Defiant, I may have just played badly. But I think I live a plus two anyway. So, it's whatever. Oh, we got we're gonna do foul play pair line, are we? Okay, so it is pranks of thunderous. Nice to know off the back. And I believe that's a special thunderous. We have life orb. Yeah, foul play. Does it KO? Not quite. Max Hailstorm. 
just straight up KOs Metagross. Uh, Thunderous. I set the hail for the my mon in the back. We break the sash. Hmm. Porygon Z comes out. So it is download. Okay. Uh, let's go for a snarl, I suppose. Um, I imagine here he can just easily go for a foul play, but that's fine. Um, He power plays the Metagross here and he dart pulses. Oh, he sucker punches. Okay. Interesting to know. So I think. I think we've got ways around this. Mien Shell does pretty well. Let's get a Snarl off. Lowers the special attack of the PZ. I imagine he has to go for a dart pulse here. Yep. It's not life orbed, so I live okay. Yeah, so. Although the sucker punch will be annoying. Because I wonder if sucker punch kills me. Um. Gumion Shell. Now I outspeed him. But this is the issue. I gotta give her a snout there. He has Sucker Punch, so he can kill the Spectra. And so, I think I want to do this. Okay, so he does go for a protect on PZ. Okay. Mian Shell doesn't get the kill there. Would have been nice to have gone for the. Uh, Would have been nice there to have gone for the quick guard. That's fine. My sash is broken though. But he can't go for the protect this turn. And Artfish, he can't outspeed both of these mobs. So let's go for the vicious rend into the Purloin. And the close combat into the Porygon Z. I think what I do for game two because he might still win this. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It is slush rush Bertic from the looks of it, but this is why he was scarfed. Pearline goes down. Yep, of course I get the paralysis there. Which is unfortunate. I wonder.
Yeah, I thought he might go for a protect there, but if, if I didn't, it could have been bad. Rock slide, shouldn't pick up the KO, but he's got a chance to flinch and paralyze me now. Yep, there's the flinch. The hail stopped. He might think that I, he does outspeed me, but he doesn't, so we just go for a PZ there. And at least this time I have a chance to KO. Activision gets the Fisher's Rainbow. KOs the PZ. He outspeeds me, still here. Ooh, heavy slam. Into me and Shadow, does it pick up the KO? Yeah, it does. So now it's a double, t a single targeting rock slide on me. Hmm. Just got a vicious rend here. This was winnable if me and Xiao hadn't have got Thunder Wave slash thingy. I think I gotta use the quick guard a little bit better. Um, heavy slam could KO me here. Nah. That's okay. So Artvish coming in clutch gets the KO. GG game one. It's nice to know that the Thunderous isn't defiant. I think that's fine. I just gotta read what he does a bit better. <sighs> the final play I should have seen coming. I, I kind of knew which would be that. He could go Purloin plus Porygon Zebo. Okay, he goes Thunderous Purloin. <sighs> I'm kind of forced to attack the Thunderous straight off, but I think that's special Thunderous. So I'm going to go for a max knuckle into that, and I'm going to just snarl straight up. Now I don't know if that helps. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I've just realised he's got a master ball on the pillow. Well, we've won one set, so if we lose another, that's fine. I I, I feel like he's going to go for a max guard with the thunderous, to be honest, and thunder waves the um, the spectrum, maybe. That's what I would imagine he does here. 
or he just attacks, goes full into the macros and attacks the air. That's possible too. Thunderwaves and then. Or he just thunderwaves the macros. Yeah, I thought he'd go for the max guard. Decent damage. Cares the pillow. The max darkness doesn't care me, but a double up will. Which is unfortunate. Okay, Magma. Yeah, definitely a double up KOs me here. Um, don't worry that we get burned by anything here. I suppose I go for that. Go for the Snarl, hope that it is a special attacking Thunderous, I suppose. It's a prank Simon, so come on. Yeah, it is. Nice, very nice. Should have gone for the max steel spike before though. This is magma special, or is it physical? That is the question. If it's a flare blitz. Oh, it's heat wave. I think I live this. Oh, Megros avoided it. Damn man. That was Yeah, a crit. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. This should KO. Yep, Thunderous goes down. I get the hail up ready for my activation in the back. And I was right in assuming that that was a special thunderous. Ooh, Spectria survived. Metagross will survive. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. PZ comes out. The PZ could protect here, it could go for a Dark Pulse. I think it's safer for the PZ to just attack, but who knows, who knows. Um, I think here it's just better off to attack the Magma. And we can... Well, if we Tail Whip, I'm guaranteed to one-shot with both Mons. before I die, but a snarl could mean that PZ isn't as threatening. Um, we'll go for the snarl because it reduces the damage I take from these attacks. Uh, you might, yeah, PZ goes for a protect, which is what I ex would expect it to do. And heat wave should be coming out here. But this is still going to do like some chip. Maybe Metagro survives this heat wave? Yeah. I'm assault vested. And Max Mindstorm of Metagro should KO with the Magma. And then I can bring Mien Shell out, fake out the Porygon Z, and just get the KO with the Metagro. So. And even if I don't, then it's whatever. I feel like I was definitely right to target the Purloin down at the start of this uh, second game. I felt like with his given max, he had to go for a max guard, otherwise uh, he just loses it straight away again. And Purloin gave me issues in that last game, so. We go for the Brick Break, and we go for the Fake Out. I, yeah, he has to go for to protect here, I suppose. Psychic terrain, but <laughs> I forgot my own terrain was up. But there we go. That's GG.
It didn't, ma- didn't make too much of a difference, to be honest, about the Sakit terrain. I started just going a bit slack there. Because, I mean, I had Art Division in the back, which was going to KO. Mien Xiao would survive a turn, it would KO. It, it was pretty uh, clear cut at the very end there. So, uh, GG's to Jay Placey. Uh, you had a great run. I'm sorry that I was the one to knock you out. Um, and we progressed to round two. So, we'll. <laughs> see what we can do. I don't know who we'll be playing yet. It's either going to be the winner, which it, I actually think it's a Metagross team, or a Metagross team, so we'll see. We'll see. I think it's Sino versus uh, Galar? Hmm. Don't know off the top of my head. I know Sino's in it, which is uh, Ryder, who's another friend of mine from another draft league, So, and he's definitely got a Metagross team. He actually has Metagross Spectra. And Gmax Pikachu, like I do, so we'll be playing him or his opponent. So, catch you guys, catch you next time. See you later, guys.